Welcome to this Getting Started with CO Qualys video. My name is Paul Schroeder and I'm one of the developers working on CO Qualys. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the creation of a specimen label, pin size, exporting that label to PDF format for zooming and printing, the generation of an occurrence report, and finally, the export of occurrence record in Darwin Core CSV format. Let's go ahead and get started. We see that we're logged in as John. John is has his own institution and his own collection selected, which he is able to edit. But poor John doesn't have a whole lot of data other than the one locality record we created for him in our last video. So to actually see some content, John's going to move over to the CO Qualys examples institution and select the mixed example collection. We can go ahead and paste in a GUID of an occurrence record that we're interested in looking at and CO Qualys will pull it right up for us. The part we're going to focus on today is this labels and exports section here. If we open the drop down we can see that we have some options for exporting in Darwin Core format and also we can create for example a pin label. This might be useful for an insect collection because it's so small. Let's go ahead and export this to PDF format. There's some other options available but we'll go ahead with PDF for now. Save that. Open it. And we can see here that there's some really tiny information that for us to zoom in on. We can see where, who collected it, scientific names, field number, and the CO Qualys GUID in this particular design. The 2D barcode on the left represents the CO Qualys GUID. As you can see, that a lot of the boxes are compacted together, representing a little bit more data encoded into it whereas the one on the right only has the field number and about five digits to encode. So they're a little bit less dense there. Let's go ahead and generate an occurrence report now. The occurrence report gives us kind of a wider view of all the things that we've input about this particular specimen. For example, any identifications that were made, uh, custom measurement or facts, where we've stored some of the uh, components of this specimen. We also see up here the ability to do a, a more traditional barcode as well as what institution it belongs to, the collection, who collected it, etc. And again we could export that in whatever format we wanted to print it out, do what we want. If we wanted to create more than one label at a time we would simply change this value here, number of label copies. The final thing that we want to do for this video is to export the occurrence data here in CSV format, Darwin Core. So let's go ahead and do that. It's asking me to save, so I will save it. And I will open it. It opens in Excel format, even though it's just a CSV file. <clears throat> and I can see who it was recorded by, I can see its catalog number whole lot of Darwin core fields here. The sampling protocols over here, the year, month, date, where it was collected, what county, elevation verbatim, what uh, for georeferencing information, what datum was used. Uh, it looks like we have here, it's probably a Cite, uh, identification reference or a citation that was the corresponding tax and ID, etc. You get the idea. So in this video we have shown you how to create a specimen label, export that label to PDF, we took a quick look at an occurrence report, and we've exported our occurrence record data in Darwin Core format. Thank you for watching. 